You've definitely heard of Cursor AI, but right now it's an AI editor similar to VS Code. And it's quite helpful. Uh, you can test it out for free and um, I recommend you do that. But you can also sign up for the Pro. But the thing is, uh, I've noted they are rather inconsistent when it comes to their um, services and you run out of prompts quite quickly. So if you don't want that, I recommend the following alternative. Klein is one of the alternatives and it's virtually identical. You install it and you can use it for free by using open router AIs models that are coming for free with a 1K request per day. If you want to know more about it, check out the description. I have a video in which I covered it in depth. And the other alternative is Augment Code. So Augment Code is actually a really great alternative because for $30 a month, you can actually get unlimited completions. Um, I'm really happy with both Klein and Augment, just to give you some insight. But here's a test that I have laid out that can help us understand how they both work. Let's check it out. So in this video, we're going to work on getting this loading spinner changed using both Klein and Augment. I found this excellent image that I want to use as a loading screener. It compares India's version of the McDonald's website to Sweden's version of the McDonald's. So we have the existing loading state, which is interactive enough. We have a different loading message depending on how much time has elapsed. But again, the goal here is to make it more engaging and informative for the user. So what we're going to do is start with augment code and say the following. So here, as always said, please make an engagement loading state spinner that shows a series of images and an accompanying caption per image in the loading state. Create the corresponding lib function with the JSON array that points to the image under public slash loading and the corresponding caption, which uh, switches every second, sec seven seconds. At the moment, we only have one image and with the following caption. So the assessment will be how fast does it do it? And um, also how correct does it do it, right? Because it may be a bit um, off-putting or not properly sized and such. So we want to see with this clear prompt, how does each of these coding uh, editors do the job? So we set the agent in auto and we're going to wait for it to do its thing and we'll be right back. So here it is completed. It took about three minutes and it looks uh, pretty good. Let's go ahead and test it out. So let's test out with this website it would make a great color palette. And there it is. Looks pretty good. Maybe we could remove the timer, but overall palette extracted quite well. Um, yeah. Let's now test it out with Klein. So we're going to go ahead and just reverse the code that was made. Go to Klein, same prompt. Going to ask it to plan first and image it's going to create a plan and then it's going to act. Now the difference here, the fundamental difference is that with Klein, I'm actually using Claude 3.7 Sonnet. I chose the model. With Augment, you're using their model because they're using their model for software engineering tax. Supposedly, it's like the industry pest according to the software engineering bench assessment. So you can see right here, do you want me to proceed? If so, um, you can just basically toggle an act and that's what we're going to do. And we're going to let it go ahead, do the job and we'll be right back. Okay, you can see it's done and uh, you can see how much it cost us. It cost us about 18 cents. Let's go ahead and see how it does though. So let's go ahead and test out with this website over here, the dead simple desks that I found in, on dead simple, dead simple sites and simple palette, minimalistic. And let's go ahead. So we're gonna extract and again we see the image and the text i i like it it looks about the same i summarized both editors past the assessment it wasn't hard you probably need a more complicated project to really see how each of them do and from personal experience i can tell you that you can probably use both at the same time but for different tasks 
And in that case, you can actually double your productivity while you have one editor work on like a set of tasks, which for example, Augment is really great at following really detailed plans that don't entail any design elements, right? It's just a matter of implementing back end and, and mostly like, you know, back into front end integrations. But um, Sonnet is actually great at working with images and extracting maybe even colors out of them. So I would put like some more complicated front end tasks for Sonnet. And um, that was it. Um, let me know which one's your favorite.